I just saw one of my students pulled up. He's right there. <laughs> I'm not even going to point out his truck, but he's right there. He's in one of those trucks, man. He, he, he don't even know that I'm seeing him right now. I'm going to shoot him a text right now, and I'm going to say, You, you better drop that trailer carefully, man. Yep. You better use that lap. Yeah. Blessings we are reap and we course in handful. We na rise and boast. All right. So I was gonna write down a list of stuff that you know what I mean to expect when your trainees um stepping into is it what they call it phase two when you go, when you do the over the road with a trainer um. Me as a trainer, I trained around, let me see, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is my 11th student, 11th student that I have um, here in my truck. He's not here right now because we were supposed to, we were scheduled for to deliver a load tomorrow. And I was trying to get this load delivered today. And um, they're saying that they can't change the appointment. Um, and I'm in Geary and my trainee, he lived a couple miles away, so he went home from Saturday, so I'm in the truck by myself, that's his top, his, his bunk up top, that's the top bunk where I fold it and I put it up, um, so every trainer is different. Um, the way how they keep their truck, the way how they train, right? Because it's not every trainer have the same experience, sad to say. It should be where um, all trainers have at least a certain amount of experience. And to be honest, when I just started to become a trainer, I was like six months in. And I really think that wasn't enough time. Um... To train a student, uh, to be honest with you, uh, I'm not gonna get into what happened. But there was a, you know what? Let me let me say it. It is what it is. I know better now. Probably if I say it, you know, it will help help other drivers out there that experiencing um, something like that. But what happened was I was with a trainee. This is what was within my first year, and um. I was pulling a reefer and you know on the reefer on the reefer trailer it has its own independent air tank and I wanted to slide my tandems but what happened was there wasn't enough air in the air tank to pull them pins in and I didn't know what to do I was using the hammer I was knocking the pin in after I because there's a button that you pull Oh, you push one of the two of them uh, and um, it pulled the pins in so what happened there wasn't enough air in the tank for it to pull those pins in so I could start the tandems and it took me a while to realize that and that was a learning lesson for me um, so that's the reason why I said have at least a year experience over the road you know, familiar with the trucks and trailers before we decide to become a trainer. So let's talk now about um, trainees. What to expect when you're you're um, in phase two over the road with a trainer. Well, let me speak for my truck. In my truck, my truck is always clean. Any one of my students could comment under my video and they could <laughs> verify for me I keep my trucks clean and that one that, that's one of the biggest issue I have with students not all of them because once the first day the first minute they step in the truck I give them a rule of this truck and that rule that I give them is like a general rule should be in every truck keep 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 your truck clean um, First thing is safety, because I got to get home to my kids. 
Um, so safety, keeping the truck clean, um, coming into the truck with a learning attitude. Because a lot of people come in the truck and, and think that they could do whatever they want to do. No. No, sir. No, ma'am. Ain't going to work that way. You know what I mean? Um, I'm going to get to cleaning in a bit. Like cleansiness. Hygiene. I'm going to get to that in a bit. But yeah. Um, come in the truck. Get prepared to work. You know. Be, be prepared to stay out at least 25 days. Um... It should be 19 days, but within the 19 days, I take my home time, two or three days, um, you know, and sometimes reset like, like like what I'm doing right now. Uh, so be prepared to stay at around 25 days or so, even though real says it's 19 days. But yeah, um, come in prepared with your atlas. Um your pen because y'all y'all some of y'all be stealing my pen and all that so i gotta repair replace my pens you know every time i get a new student but um yeah i'm coming with your notebook um as well um what else come with change your clothes a lot of change your clothes because in this truck <laughs> if you ever get me as a trainer in this truck you have to shower every night. Rail policy, I hear rail saying every other day. Not in this truck, sorry. If a student ops in this truck and he, he, he don't want to shower every day, he can't stay in this truck no more. And I mean, this is a small unit, small truck. Ain't no way me and someone else going to stay in this truck here and I'm smelling any part of you. No, sir, not me. All right? So, I shower every day. I'm here at the terminal right now, and I'm not doing nothing. I'm not sweating. And I'm going to shower tonight again. I shower last night, and I'm going to shower tonight again. You know what I mean? Um, that's just me, man. A lot of people, they will come in this truck, and they feel like they want to bring their attitude their lifestyle in this truck. No, it's not going to work that way. I sweep my truck out every day. I actually have a blower in my truck that I purchased from the um, a truck stop that I attached to my seat, my driver's seat. And twice a day, three times a day, I blow my truck out. As soon as it gets dirty, I blow the floor out. You know, if it's like mud, I wipe it out. Whatever it is, I clean my seats. I do laundry, I wash my, my sheet on my bed at least once a day. I wipe down the chair once, not once a day, once a week. I do laundry, I change my sheets. I wipe down my truck seats, dry wash it once a week. I do those stuffs. You know and I mean, each time we switch um, seats, I wipe down the, I got wipes where um, the, let me see what kind of wipes it is. Let me be exact. I got the Clorox wipes here. Disinfectant wipes kills 99% of germs and bacteria. I use it, I wipe down the seats. I mean, the, the steering wheel. You know what I mean? You got to prepare for that when you come into this truck. As I said, not all trainers are like that. But if you ever get me as your trainer, I'm just giving you a heads up. You know, hygiene, I can't deal with it. And I'm, I'm going to warn you once. One you twice, the third time. We'll have to make a call to your fleet manager. Alright, we ain't gonna do this. I had a student one time. That student traumatized me. In the in the sense I don't want to train any more student. Wanna come in my truck, don't want to shower. I mean, don't want to keep the shit clean. And I'll be speaking, I'll be speaking, I'm like, listen to me, man. I'm gonna call your fleet manager up. Are you gonna get the out of Dodge. You know what I mean? We ain't gonna do this stinky, stinky shit. We ain't gonna do it. And each time I think about it with that with that guy, pisses me off, man. Pisses me off. But yeah, let me get back to the list. 
also um if you if you're a student and you hop into this truck you're gonna expect you're gonna um expect that i'm more experienced than you so if i say something is not it's nothing personal it's a learning lesson sometimes learning lesson is comes off a little bit harsh is not harsh is just whatever it is they always see the true hurts so sometimes you got to man up or be a, be a lady whoever it is and hear the truth if you're falling too close to a truck I'm gonna let you know you're falling distance you know what I mean if you're gonna switch lanes and you're gonna do the leaning look it's gonna be an issue you know what I mean if you're not checking your mirrors or make sure your trailer is in your lane it's gonna be an issue if you're not confident around the steering wheel, it's going to be an issue. And I'm going to let you know that's going to be an issue. You know what I mean? So you come in this truck, you're going to experience all of that. And you're going to learn. Yeah, that's what you're going to do. You're going to learn the back as well. Because I know backing is one of the hardest things to do in trucking. Yeah, everyone could go forward. We could drive for 500 miles a day forward. But when it's time to park that truck in the night, you got to learn how to do that. You're going to get out your truck at least three times when you back in with me. You know what I mean? I ain't going to sit in the truck like other trainers do and say, hey, turn left, turn right. No, I'm going to hop out the truck and I'm going to stand like 10 feet away and I'm going to shout. Man, you messing up. Get out the truck. Go take a look. Check your blind side. I'm going to do that. You know what I mean? So... You don't like my attitude don't come in my truck it is what it is man it is what it is but yeah um i just pulled up um, one of my students he just pulled up on me because he saw me he came over here and we chit chat a little bit man and i'm so proud of him you know what i mean and he's making his money now and that's good so point of this video is you're gonna expect me to be a trainer and a real trainer to you we in friends all right all right I'll let you know that all right man so drop it down in the video in the comment section let me know what you think about this video and please like this video let me see if I if I left out anything here you know, attitude, hygiene, positive energy, um, coming to the truck to learn, what else? Yeah, you're going to leave this truck here successful. Being successful when you leave this truck, all right? Because when they're ready to test you out, right, after you do your five solos. Oh, yeah, talking about solos. Whenever um, it gets to like the 14th day of you in this truck on duty um, you gotta prepare to do your five solos your five solos includes doing everything trip planning um, completing the workflow if it's a drop and hook completing a drop and hook if it's a live load do a live load um, if everything Co-pilot, go through the co-pilot, uh, routing directions. Um, you got to show me that you know to do everything that I taught you since day one you got in this truck here. But um, yeah, that's what's up, man. So as I said, in the meantime, guys, please like, share, subscribe to my channel. At least 50 likes. Let's get 50 likes on this video here.